So what is this? It's a virtual choir. How does it work? Actually we built voice synthesizer for iPhones. Uh-huh. The interface on the top. Uh-huh. And uh, so what we try to do here is to get like a minimal meaningful interface for controlling singing. Uh-huh. It's kind of a problem in itself because singing is really complicated. Right. So we have built uh, different kind of mappings that allows you to get worse of course the note that you play because it's like a Whoa. most important thing that you want to do here. Also what you yeah. call the vocal effort, which is yeah. important in singing. Uh-huh. Kind of so if you combine both, you can start to get this really nice vocal gesture. Okay. And if people come together, they can get different kind of voice. So this is the soprano voice, the tenor voice, the baritone voice, the bass voice. Can you make it do words or just uh, Actually, chanting like? With this device, you can kind of change the mouth. Yeah. I'm doing. You can kind of open and close the mouth, but the device is pretty limited for speaking. I see. So we have another instrument that was performed yesterday. Uh huh. With a lot of sensors, and with that we are actually able to grow the whole uh, phonetic space of wow. English. Wow. That this woman actually is able to speak with controllers. Okay. Now, can she speak normally? It's still, like, it's, it's like somebody that she's playing for the last five years, I think. So imagine like a, a kid learning to talk. Back. Yeah. She's not doing it full time either, so. And and but can she actually speak with her mouth? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. She's singing and she's I time. see. Okay. So, but it's, it's, you can understand that. You can understand what she's doing. Yeah, okay. You can have a conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thanks for taping it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah, if you want more, I have already a lot of videos there. Oh, yeah.